Okay, so this is the Monster Snap Hoop by Dime. These hoops fit many different models of machines. When you order a hoop, you have to know what size you want, and you also have to let us know what brand of machine you have. We typically have the Brother hoops in stock in many different sizes, but we can order them for other brands of machines. Um, so we're glad to order those for you if you'd like a snap hoop. They come in all different sizes. I'm going to demo today on the 5x7 size. I have a little table runner here that is ready to be quilted. And when the hoops come, there is a ruler set that is a stick-on um, ruler that you just um, stick it on yourself. They come inside the box. So I've already got my ruler tape on there. And there's a plastic piece in the middle. What that plastic piece does is allows you to get the two pieces apart. Once I snap these two together, they snap hard when they grip, and it takes a bit to pull them apart. So anytime you store your hoop, you always want to put the plastic in between so that it's easy to get apart. Because if you stick the two of them together, I've broken a fingernail more than once trying to get them back apart. So you have the bottom of your hoop, which slides into your machine. This is the bracket that slides into your machine. When you quilt, you quilt just like any other project. You want to start in the middle and work your way out is typically the way that you do it. So I am going to have this is in my machine. We're going to pretend that's already in my machine. And I'm going to lay my runner on top of it and place it into the hoop. I'm going to line up this edge along here. It gets a little tricky. Every project lines up differently, but I want to have about the same amount at the top and bottom. And again, if you're doing an edge-to-edge -edge design or a plan design, you really have to pay attention to the lineup. This video isn't about lineup. This video is about how to use the magnetic hoop. There's a little indentation here. That is where it connects to the machine. So that indentation tells you where the hoops connect so the hoop is in the right place. So I go to my machine and I line up my hoop however I am for my project and then this comes up to the edge and I can feel where that little um, indentation is and then I just drop it into place and my hoop is in place. I can lift this up. That hoop is held on there nice and tight I've got a nice taut surface. If you pull and stretch this out, you've now pulled this too tight and you're going to get puckers when you're done. So you always want to be sure that you lay your project in place and just gently, and I don't drop it from real high, get pretty close, and then let it snap into place. Hence the name Snap Hoop. And now I go to my machine and I'm ready to go. A couple things to pay attention to when you start hooping if you're working on a large project, you don't want to, if I start when I'm stitching this end, all of this has to be rolled up into the middle of my machine. So when I'm ready to do this end, I'm going to turn my project upside down and stitch. So I'm kind of starting in the middle, working this way, then I flip my project upside down, start in the middle and work that way again. You don't want to pay attention to what edge you're rolling. You want the large roll to be outside of your machine, not inside the throat of your machine. Once you've got your first piece done, this piece you can pull right up, and on most machines you can take it, if this is the head of my machine, I can actually take it right up over the head of the machine and just kind of balance it there. Move my project over and bring it back down. So you don't have to take the hoop out of the machine. You can also just kind of hold it with one hand on a small project like this. It's easy to do. I stitch my first design. I move it over, line up my second design, drop this into place, stitch my next design, pick this up, move it this way, stitch my next design. So you can move around the quilt really easily. And if it's not quite right, you can pick this up, shift it to where you need to be, and then put it in place again. So that's how the large snap hoops work. Um, they come again in all different sizes, squares and rectangles. Um, people always ask what size to get on a hoop like this. For me personally, 
the majority of the things that I do in a really large hoop is quilting. So if I have a large quilt, the bigger my hoop, the less hoopings I have to do. So the first hoop, if I was going to buy one large hoop, or excuse me, one magnetic hoop for projects, I would buy the biggest hoop that fits my machine. And that way, as I quilt along, I have to do less and less hoopings and my quilting goes much more rapidly. Hope that was helpful information. Thanks a lot.